Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Tonight I'm coming at you with Ezra chapter 2. I'm actually not going to read a single verse out of it. Well, I'll give you one verse just to give you a hint and an idea of what this chapter is about. I'm going to read verse 2. So Ezra chapter 2, verse 2. Those who came with Zerubbabel were Jeshua, Nehemiah, Sariah, Reliah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispar, Bigvi, Rehum, and Bana, the number of the men of the people of Israel. And the rest of the chapter is a long, 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 long list of all the people who came out of the kingdom of Persia and into the kingdom of Israel. All the, uh, all the Jews who were released by Cyrus, king of Persia, at that time. And it's just a list. And it was, it's one of those long lists in the Bible where it's like, okay, can I, just, can I just skip ahead to the next part? Can I keep on going here? And the Bible does have quite a few sections that are unpopular, not because they're controversial or debatable or possibly an error or a contradiction. I'm not dealing with any of those ultra-heavy subjects. They're just plain boring. We're just, quite frankly, not interested in reading that kind of stuff. We really don't care who begat who. We don't care, you know, what part of the lamb needed to be put on the altar and which part went to the Lord and which part went to the priests. We don't need to know the number of, you know, of, blah, 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 of Benjamites that were gallivanting around in the wilderness. We really don't care about all those things. What I would like to encourage you to do is to care. When you read the Bible, don't try to skim ahead and see where the next section is that's good and meaty and juicy and you can easily grasp a hold of it. Don't skip those parts in your Bible study. Read the whole thing. I would go so far as to say is if you've read through the entire Bible at least once, and a lot of Christians in this nation have not, first let me encourage you to do that. Most importantly, read the Bible, even if you were going to read just the important sections. Even though I would encourage against that, at least go through the Bible at least go through it at the very, very bare minimum. But I would say, don't stop at the minimum, keep going, and read the whole thing. If you've been through it once, don't skip the sections that were born to you, read it again. It, it just makes me think, you know, at what point do you, at what point do you say enough is enough? At what point do you say, I'm, you know, okay, this I'll skip and this I won't? Until you've read the entire Bible, you really don't know what you want to skip and what you don't. And if you do decide to skip something, almost, almost every single time, something important is going to be left out. Yeah, the first nine chap, the first nine chapters of Chronicles are the begets. You know, this person was the child of this person. And sometimes I don't even say name the son. Uh, it, it's just like name, 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 name. But if you skip those nine chapters, then you miss the prayer of Jabez which was a huge inspiration around about a decade or so ago in the church. It's a really good passage. I would encourage you to find the, the uh, prayer of Jabez. If you Google that, you will certainly find not only the passage in Scripture, you'll find a book that sold really, really well and encourage the church. A lot of people want to skip out on Leviticus because it's all the laws and all the, and all the fine, fine details of the tabernacle in, during the time of Moses and up to the temple. And the procedures were still followed in the temple. They were just done in the temple and not the tabernacle. Same law still applied. But the problem is if you skip out on the entire book of Leviticus, then you skip out on the commandment that Jesus said is likened under the first and greatest commandment. Um, which is to love your neighbor as yourself. That is not a Jesus thing. Obviously, he said it. Um, but to love your neighbor as you love yourself, that goes all the way back to the Old Testament. That's in Leviticus 19. You miss out, you, ch you skip out on Leviticus, you miss out on that. So, yeah, this particular chapter here was, was dry. It was hard to read through. And I'll admit, I read it hurriedly. I read it not, not you know making sure I'm pronouncing every name correctly, not trying to memorize the list in any kind of order. I will admit, I read through it very quickly, but I didn't skim it. I read every single word because even though this is my third time through going through the Bible, I want to read every single word. 
because if there is something I missed on those last two times, the Bible is a big book. I, we can easily get something from it every single time we read it. There's a lot I've gotten this third time through reading it. For example, the videos that you guys see here, all of them have been my third time through reading the Bible. And some of the stuff that I've gotten out of it has been new. It's been good stuff. And if I didn't read every single word, if I chose to skip certain portions, I would miss that. So when you run across this chapter, and yeah, so the, my sermon today wasn't even on what, anything written in the chapter because I really couldn't find any good material. There were a few maybes, but I thought the greater and more important issue was to say, what happens when you read, run into sections of the Bible that are like this? And the answer is to read it. Not to skip it, but to read it. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.